finally, it's really my, my pleasure to introduce Erwin de Leon, who is uh, a, a community member and uh, a, a, real, a real leader in the fight for, for family unification. Uh, I will turn it over to Erwin. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank House Members Kakiris, Honda, Lee, Nadler, Quigley, and Polis for inviting me, me to share my story and for the unwavering support of binational couples. Like most immigrants, I came to the United States with my American dream. I was going to take advantage of all the opportunities available, work hard, improve my lot, and give back. As a young gay man, I was going to live openly and with integrity. I was also going to fall in love settle down and start my own family. I think that for the most part, I have been fortunate and have done well. I have put myself through grad school and am now completing a doctorate degree while working as a researcher. I volunteer and help out when I can. I am doing what I love and believe that in my small way, I am making a difference. I have always been myself, out and proud. Best of all, I have fallen in love, settled down and started a family with a man with whom I share the same faith and core family values. John and I have been together for 12 years. We have been committed to one another all this time, and though we have lived for all intents and purposes like a married couple, we have been denied the legal right to marry, that is, until March this year when the District of Columbia legalized same-sex marriage. Until then, we did our best to get whatever legal protections we could for same-sex couples. While living in New York, we registered as domestic partners. Upon relocating to Washington three years ago, we also signed up as domestic partners. When it became legal to wed here, we didn't wait long to get a marriage license. Although no one can deny the fact that we are now a married couple and that he is my husband, the hard reality is that our DC marriage license isn't worth much outside this jurisdiction. When we visit my in-laws in Charlotte next month, we will still need to have our living wills and healthcare proxies on hand in case of an emergency. We both dread the thought of not being able to be by the side of the one injured and hospitalized. Worse, not being able to make the life and death decisions only a spouse should make. We resent the fact that even though we have been paying our taxes and contributing to the social security system, neither of us will be entitled to the other's benefits. We find it unfair that anything we give or leave to each other, property, money, and other material possessions will be taxed. The list goes on. Married heterosexual couples enjoy over 1,100 benefits, protections, and privileges denied couples like us only because we happen to be gay. When I told my mom that John and I were getting married, she congratulated us and said, great, so you should be able to sponsor you. See, thanks to the vagaries of the U.S. immigration system, I still do not have a green card. Even though I consider the United States my home, have lived there legally for several years, and in my heart know that I am as American as my native-born cousins, I have no recourse but to wait for my mother's sponsorship to come through, which will take many more years unless the immigration system is reformed. What will happen to me once I get my doctorate next year? We do not know. I explained to my mom that because immigration is a federal matter, John will not be able to sponsor me for legal permanent residency. Our DC same-sex unit is not recognized by the US government. However, if we were a different sex couple, then I could count on a green card before this year is over. But clearly, I and thousands of other couples cannot. We are not asking for special rights. We are only asking for equal rights. I ask Congress to please support passage of the United American Families Act as part of immigration reform in this Congress in this year. This would end discrimination against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender by national families, against families like my own. Thank you. 